Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. Today I'm going to be doing my full face routine for summer. This is what I plan to do for the summer because it is extremely hot here in Miami. It's already hot. We're already at about 82 to 85 early in the morning when we wake up. So I know what to expect and I'm not going to be putting on a whole lot of makeup this summer. What I'm going to do is start off with my Max Fix Plus and I always spritz my face with that. So this is what I'm doing. And this is just to make my face happy and get my face going in the morning. I also have some rose water that I reviewed in another video a while back. That's a great wake me up, you know, just to get the skin a little re revitalized. They also have some charge water from MAC that I want to try next. I always apply my lotion. Lately, I've been using my Aveeno Naturals Lotion. This is uh, the daily moisturizing one. And I just apply a little bit of that all over my skin, even in the dry and oily spots everywhere. Because even though I'm oily, I still need to take care of those dry spots. I have combination skin. So I do have some dry spots and areas. The next thing I want to do is apply my primer. Now, it's between the Makeup Forever Step 1 primer, this is the mattifying one, and my Becca mattifying primer. I'm going to go with the Makeup Forever one with this particular foundation that I'm going to be wearing because the Becca doesn't really mix well with all foundations so you're going to hit or miss as you're playing around with this one. But this one seems to go along with a lot of foundations so I'm going to give this a try for the summer. If I don't like it, I'm going to switch it up. But I know for a fact that Becca does have some issues with certain types of foundations. So I'm just applying that right on the areas where I get super oily. And I am not afraid to kind of pat that in because the foundation is going to cover it. And I give it a chance to dry. Give it a chance to seep, you know, seep in. Alright, this summer I will not be color correcting. I will not be trying to hide all of these different spots that I got all under here and around here and everything. I'm just going to use my full coverage powder foundation. That's right, powder. And this is from NYX. This is the Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And this is in the shade Coco. Yeah, Coco. All right, so I this is this will be it. It's just too hot. So this will be it. So I'm just using my uh, what is this? The Real Techniques buffing brush, I believe that is. Yes, and I'm just going to push that into the skin. I'm tapping right into the product, and I am pushing that into the skin. So that is what's going to give me the coverage. Pushing it into the skin. So you see that coverage, you see what it's looking like. It's not bad at all. For a powder foundation, it's not bad at all. And when I did the initial review and demo for this, I did put on all my concealers and everything underneath. You will put creams underneath. But for the summer, not me. I'm not putting on all of that stuff. You guys go ahead. But if you don't live in Florida or Georgia or one of these hotter states, then you probably say, oh, I have to put this on. But if you're down here, you're going to say, uh-uh, 
not this summer i'm not putting it on so take it or leave it this is what i'm gonna even if i was going somewhere very ritzy maybe i might kick it up a notch but this is how i'm going to be all summer and there's someone out there who's saying yes i can do this because it's just that simple maybe this is all you need you never know sometimes less is more so this is what i'm going to do and if you feel like it's cakey and crazy looking all you're going to do is apply a little bit of your spray at the end and knock off some of that powdery finish and that's it but i'm going to go ahead and i add a little bit of blush so I'm going to do that. As a matter of fact, before I apply the blush, I'm going to give my face a quick spray with the Max Fix Plus. So I'm going to put on one of my MAC blushes very lightly. I think I'm going to go ahead and use Raisin. Raisin blush. Let me hold it up really well so you guys can see. It looks like that. Very nice blush for darker skin tones. I'm going to apply some of that. And over that blush very very lightly I'm gonna use one of the Becca blushes the new luminous blushes I'm gonna use Tiger Lily and people have been using these as toppers over their blushes so just a little something over the blush and these blushes can be used as inner corner highlights over the um, blush directly or as highlights on the cheek everywhere just the same way you use highlighters you can use these blushes they're very beautiful alrighty guys I'm gonna use a little bit of my covergirl in ebony and I've been liking this and the black radiance in ebony the pressed powder well, let me open up the black radiance they're both very pretty very very pretty Okay, the cover girl has a little bit more of a shimmery type thing going on and the black radiance is a little matte. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the cover girl one. For my lips today I'm going to be using a uh, conspiracy lip pencil and this is from the Urban Decay line the 24-7 glide on pencil I'm gonna just fill in my lips with that first and on top I'm going to be applying conspiracy lipstick from the new vice collection And I am going to darken the outer corner of my lip just a little bit. Okay, I promise this is the last spray, but you will thank me later. This is the Urban Decay uh, all nighter spray and this is a setting spray it's long lasting I have used it before this is oil free paraben free it works very very well I used it on the client actually for today's prom I'm gonna spray this on my face and it mists out very nicely like vapor it really does all right my friends so that is it that is your completed look the eye tutorial will also be coming up very shortly 
both videos will be going up the same day so just look out for the eye tutorial I'll definitely link it up here or down below it's just a brown smoky eye super super simple that is what we're doing this summer we are keeping it simple sister this summer even with my hair this is my natural hair I'm wearing a braid out a lot of the summer my hair will be in protective styling on these wigs and things like that so just keep it locked to how I'm going to be di deep conditioning and oiling my scalp the different products I'm going to be using because I do have some new things to give a try and you know test out also check out the little mind catchers channel because I've already tested out a few products with their hair some were great some were not so great so check that out okay remember to follow me on all my social media everything is at the mind catcher so you will not forget tumblr twitter instagram everything is at the mind catcher okay cyber kisses and i'll see you guys in the next video bye